Alright, so in a challenge to long-standing American dominance of the oil industry, China is reportedly planning to launch a pilot program to pay for its own oil, the RNB. You know, so it'll be a the renminbi, that's what RMB is short for. And so they're creating their own, they're trying to create their own global reserve currency status and special drawing rights with the IMF and the World Bank. And so they want to be like the new Illuminati, Rothschild, Rothkop type deal here. Uh, so look, at it, look into this because it could potentially start uh, the second, in, in second half of the year. This is going to start happening. The regulators have asked several financial institutions to prepare, uh, you know, the price of oil imports in, you know, the renminbi. So, <laughs> remember the renminbi. It's hard to say that word. Two of the China's top suppliers, Russia and Angola, may be asked to trade in, in renminbi. And China recently began tr uh, trading oil futures in its own currency, which is remarkable. I mean, this is... God, this has been going on forever with the U.S. Um, imperial uh, stranglehold, you know, this, um, you know, totalitarian fascism that is the dollar, that is the petrodollar. Everybody has to buy this dollar, you know, to buy oil. It's the middleman internationally. And it is why... The, uh, all these wars are happening and how all these wars are able to be financed. All these other countries are subsidizing our military industrial complex by pumping up the dollar by giving all this credence, this fake credence to a paper note that isn't worth jack squat. Okay? It's not worth anything. It's not backed by gold. Alright? China, they, they had 8.4 million barrels a day versus the U.S. that's 7.9 million barrels a day. That's crazy. So they're importing more oil anyway. Uh, this is just, this was bound to happen. This can't go on forever. We can't continue with this snowball effect of debt. We just pay off our debt with more debt. And it's not our money, guys. Don't be like, oh shit, fuck you China and all this, because they're just acting in their own best interests. And just like what Trump is doing by escalating tariffs. And this is by Reuters. Uh, President Donald Trump said on Thursday he had instructed U.S. trade officials to consider $100 billion in additional tariffs on China, fueling an already heated trade dispute between the two, uh, world's two biggest economies. So this is... They had 50 billion, uh, or I'm sorry, 50, yeah, 50 billion uh, before of tariffs on Chinese goods. China um, retaliated uh, and all this other stuff, and then Trump's like, oh yeah, 100 billion. 100 billion. I can't do it, Trump, unless I plug my nose. It's weird. And uh, Trump's after market hours comments spurred a sharp sell off in U.S. equity future markets. The S&P 500 E-mini futures traded down 1.3 percent. Okay, it's it's uh, you got all these numbers and statistics to just basically show that what's what Trump is doing is is boosting our market in a way that's not making us connected to China like at the hip, like where we can't do what we want to do. And we're not like a conjoined twin of economies, like where we can't move. And we're bound to these people. And we're bound to their slavery policies that they allow to have. That NAFTA allowed to happen. You know, not having proper regulations. I just went to the store the other day. I think it was Mark's or something. Uh, and they had Chinese beans. I accidentally grabbed them. I was like, it's organic, whatever. I threw it in the cart. Then I looked at it. It's like these... You look in the background, it's these Chinese, no, nothing, no offense against Chinese people, but I'm not buying Chinese food. There's too many stories about really bad stuff happening uh, with, with people eating Chinese food. Anyway, don't eat it, guys. Don't believe the hype, you know. The tit-for-tat tariffs have stirred fears that the two countries will spiral into a trade war that will crush global growth. 
Well, global growth as far as what? Like, what does that mean? Global growth as far as global government? Because that's pretty much what they're always talking about when it comes to globalism and globalization, global governance, global government. You know, it's all the same thing. Um, this, when they talk about how we have a global economy, we have a, you know, we're, we're dependent. This is what they're talking We're literally creating this interdependency between countries by design. That's what these globalists want is trade wars and everything else after they've already robbed us all blind, which has already happened. They've already robbed us all blind. So let me try to click on this. There we go. This, I clicked on it last time. It didn't work. What's happening on the border has changed significantly in the past year. Tiger 7 is one of the lowest they have ever been. Reporter Stan Ramirez went to find out why, and may be surprised that most numbers are down, except for the amount of children crossing illegally. Children crop. That's the dreamers, right? In southern New Mexico is the small town of Deming, so about 30 miles from the Mexican it's border. It's down. Immigration is down. Is monitored by Border Patrol agents who work out of this station. In 2005, then New Mexico Governor yeah. Bill Richardson declared a state of emergency here in Deming because of all of the illegal activity and illegal immigration coming from across the border. Thanks to Obama. Cow ranchers who live along this area of the border have their own concerns. Mm -hmm. Where we would have ranchers complain that that you have illegal aliens running through our, their crops, disrupting the, get the cattle opening gates and leaving them open. The patrol agent in charge of the Deming State How would you like that if you lived next to the border and they were messing day. with your property? Now, those calls you wouldn't like it, guys. So is a lot of the border activity. I don't care I who you are. The has been almost non-existent. The Department almost of Almost non-existent, dude. dude. This is... That says in wow. Customs and, border and now they... It's almost like... The lowest hmm. level of illegal border crossings on record. There are three border record. patrol stations in New Mexico. In Deming, Lordsburg... That's a lot. People based at these stations monitor the land between New Mexico. This is two months ago. Border agents arrested nearly 15,000 people who illegally yeah. crossed into New Mexico in 2017. That's down from 19. Look at those numbers, before. guys. Border patrol agents are using the same this technology, is incredible. The same infrastructure, and actually have fewer agents. So. Okay. So the gist is, okay, you got all these people coming in in this big caravan of crazies. You know, they're hell-bound towards the border, and now we got the military on the border and everything. I think it, it could be just some, you know, spectacle by, by Soros and everything else. But then again, it's like, is Trump setting this all up? Because it looks like, since it's all down, they need funding for the borders anyway, for the wall. How are they, It's an excuse for more funding for the border, you know, which is great. It's just, can, we can see right through it. I, th I can, at least. Like, okay, it's so obvious. We have the numbers down dramatically this year, or last year, and this year, right? Um, so they need some kind of catalyst event. Like, these people, they're going to attack you. They're going to come to the border. And it's meant to just bring more funds to the border and ICE and stuff. Which is, again, I think it's great. It's just, why are they using all these weird psychological tactics and why uh, I know why but you know to get the job done but we're not stupid um, these people are being funded by somebody they're they're being they admitted that people are helping them along the way it could just be outrage at all the, the it could it could just really be for real too I mean honestly I'm just thinking here I'm just thinking like it looks a little staged like hey we need money you know but it does. It also looks real too, you know. I, I'm, you're never too sure about these things. You can't be a hundred percent, guys, ever on, on most things. You gotta really be in a state of mind where we gotta admit we don't know what the fuck's going on, right? We don't really know. We're not down there in the border. We don't know these people. We don't know who they are. They're Hondurans, I guess. Eighty percent, ninety percent of them are from Honduras. But what does that even mean? Who are these people? And why are they so hell-bent on crossing the border in a giant uh, cavalcade? And this giant, he like ISIS, like when they were driving through the desert and stuff. They're trying to make it so they're a military force of Hondurans. Trying to, I mean, it, you couldn't make this up. This is so 
um, spectacular. And this is such a historical precedent. And it's such a positive thing, I think, for sovereignty, understanding our, our role and what the military is for. It's meant to protect the border. It's meant to be there to protect the Constitution. Not, you know, you can say, some can argue that the well-regulated militia that's talked about in the Constitution is the military, but then it turned bad, it went into the military-industrial complex, and all we really need is just regulations on the military instead of our gun rights. Because that would make it so, you know, we wouldn't have to, um, you know, get rid of the Constitution for us citizens. And then we would have more um, respect for militias and our true role as American citizens to protect our border, to protect each other, you know, and not go out in all these foreign entanglements that we were warned about. You know, um, that's what George Washington was really against, is foreign entanglements. He warned us about that. He he was smart enough to know that, all right? I mean, and this is, this is a dude from the 1700s that knew about how the importance of maintaining uh, your borders, maintaining, because we're lucky in America. We only got really one uh, major area that we are, um, well, Canada too, but come on, let's, we're not really scared of Canada. Um, we only got really like one major area of significance for border policy, and that's on the southern border, and let's just do this. I love this. This is great. Let's get them down there all the time. I'm f completely for that. Instead of having the wall, let's just have the military down there. Give them some jobs. Um, all right, so enough with that. Uh, on that note, I'll make a new video soon. I want to go walk around and do some, like, poster hangs and stuff. I've been working a lot. We did. We just finished a house. Like the inspector came in today, and we got it done, and we passed the inspection. So, all right, guys. Peace, love, unity, respect.